I'm going to go over how to add multiple strokes to text that keeps it fully editable in a really easy way just like what you see right here. I used to do this by stacking multiple layers of type and then adding strokes to those different layers, but it's not really an efficient way to do it because if you have to edit the type later on, it's a bit of a pain. So here's a much more efficient way to do it using the appearance window. And make sure you have window appearance selected. It's at the top here. You may also wanna have the window swatches open as well as the type character panel as you might wanna adjust the tracking or kerning as you go along. So the first thing I wanna do is select the type and then on your appearance window, there's two buttons to the lower left. One's add stroke and one's add a new fill. We're gonna focus on add a new stroke, so go ahead and hit that. You also wanna make sure that your appearance window is big enough that you can grab to the sides here and actually move these around. So just make sure you have it sized appropriately. And as you can see, there's your new stroke you just added and then a fill and characters. And you wanna grab this stroke right here and drag it down below the character. So just click it and drag it. And now you can see the stroke here is beneath the fill and the type characters. And you can actually select any color you want here. For this case, I'm just gonna do a white. And if you don't see the color you wanna add in this list here, that's where the swatches panel might come in handy for you. And to add a color to the swatches panel, you can just click whatever color you want in the fill here. So if I wanna add, let's say this kind of cyan blue color, you can just click and drag it from the fill and then drag it right in over the swatches and it will populate in there. And then when you go in to the stroke here, you can see that your new color is still added. But I'm gonna keep this stroke a white and I'm gonna make it about four point. And you're gonna have to size this appropriately for whatever you're doing since it's white and white, you can't see what I'm doing. And I'm also gonna add another stroke and it puts it right above this one. I'm just gonna select the bottom one here so that the white stroke will be the next in the layers here as this type right here appears. And I'm gonna select a black I'm just gonna adjust this to be a bit thicker. And there you have it. And the cool thing about doing it this way is that if you ever wanna edit your type afterwards, it's super easy to edit. And of course, you can go on ahead and if you want the kerning, I usually just throw the tracking out in the character panel a little bit to quickly expand the letters a little bit. It's really easy to do. And you can change what you just did here at any time. Just go to the appearance window once again. And let's say we don't want a white stroke, but we want that new blue color. You can go ahead and change it very quickly. You can also adjust the stroke or just turn it off by clicking this eyeball looking icon in the left here. So you can turn off the black, turn off the blue, turn back on just the blue. It's a really quick and easy way to work and it's totally non-destructive to what you're doing as it's very easy to go in there and change anything that you need to as you're working. But hope this little tip is helpful to you. And if you found this helpful, please hit like and favorite. And if you wanna see more cool videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I try to keep new content coming every week. Thanks for watching.